Hello, uh, this one's number three. <laughs> this is going to be Sally Ride. She was America's first female astronaut. And she was from LA and she was really sporty, super good at tennis. And uh, when she was at university, she was the, she was the only woman in a physics class. She did quantum mechanics and she left and saw that NASA was recruiting for astronauts and there was a ridiculously large amount of people applied and got whittled down and whittled down and then ended up with 20 uh, applicants and she was, again, the only woman. So they were really amazed by both how, how amazingly clever she was and also how strong she was and how she'd um, ace all the tests they gave her. So they selected her and she ended up spending uh, over two weeks in space by the end of her uh, time at NASA, which is quite a long time really, if you think about being in a little metal box. Terrifying, I would never do that. <laughs> Apparently she was quite easy to get along with and uh, she was quite skilled using some of the equipment on the spacecraft. She travelled on the, the Challenger and, and after the disaster she was part of the commission that investigated. It was entirely possible that she could have been the one that was on that particular Challenger mission. And I imagine that having been on it herself, her knowledge of everything about the shuttle was key to them understanding what went wrong. She finished a career at NASA and went on to working with Stanford University. She had a fellowship there. She did research into arms control and space. Later on, she did quite a bit of uh, educational work and science outreach stuff. Uh, and she, she wrote a children's book. <laughs> She was something of a gay icon as well and uh, spent the last part of her life uh, married to a woman. She, uh, she arranged to meet with Svetlana Savitskaya and they got on quite well and she reckoned that Savitskaya would have done really well in NASA. <laughs> <laughs>